Canine cancer in spindle cell sarcoma. How does it work and what causes it? What causes it? Canine cancer can be caused by too much sun, uncontrolled cell growth, radiation, chemicals, hormones, infections, and a virus. How does it work? If cancer is malignant, then the cells multiply and it spreads quickly throughout the body. If cancer is not malignant, the cells do not multiply and it does not spread and it can be controlled with medication. Canine spindle cell sarcoma is most common in larger dog breeds. It has a low grade and a high grade. It will not spread to other animals. The occurrence is likely and sometimes it can be removed, but it is likely that it will spread. Spreading makes this cancer almost impossible to remove. The effects of spindle cell sarcoma. This cancer occurs mostly on the limbs. This makes using the limbs more difficult. It usually has a negative impact on the surrounding areas of the cancer, and it may become infected if irritated by the dog or others. Diagnosis. This cancer has a distinctive appearance to most vets, but microscopic examination is used to be positive. A biopsy where they cut out a piece of the cancer is usually done for the examination. There are other less common ways to diagnose this cancer too. Cytology and histopathology are ways to do the microscopic examination. Cytology means examining cells collected from the cancer, and histopathology means examining a biopsy sample. Treatment. Surgical removal or amputation works for some cases, but not all. Chemotherapy, the use of drugs and medication, does not work for this cancer. Radiotherapy, the use of radiation to kill cancer cells, works and is the main treatment for this cancer. Interstitial brachytherapy is the type of radiotherapy used for this cancer. It is done by putting a source of sealed radiation inside or next to the cancer. How can you help your pet? You can make sure your pet feels as comfortable as possible, and you can make sure they don't touch or irritate the tumor in any way. Created using Powtoon.